Hi guys, welcome to another video on the JV hey. and Millie channel and today we have another Dream Address Island tour for you guys in which we will be heading to the beautiful island of Analia. So guys, this island celebrates our favourite time of year on Animal Crossing and that is the Spring Blossom. So we are so excited to see what this island has in store. Yeah, and huge thank you to Lockluff um, for letting us do this tour. We really appreciate them. Their descriptions and all their details will be in the description down below. So again, huge thank you to them. So, I'm really looking forward to this because like you say, spring... I feel like it's probably one of the best times in Animal Crossing. Yeah, certainly. Because for all, it's not as, you know, such a stark difference as autumn. And it's not as, I guess, it doesn't have the potential of winter in that it can't have the aurora. I feel like it's a good middle ground between the summer and all of those other seasons where it just seems like what you'd expect from the game. Yeah. And I like that a lot. And look at the flag, very natural. Yeah, I was thinking the same. It's gonna be gorgeous. It's a custom design portal that we can check out at the end of the tour, so stick around for that, guys. And Whoa. Wow, okay. So we need to start by picking up a few things. Aw. So I feel like this is actually really cool. Oh my gosh. Grape Harvest, Nook Ink Bandana, oh my gosh, and that's like the perfect colour for me as well, that bandana. It is. Oh, I feel like they've nailed my style, like if we were like Let's get a, good look at you. a spring core, cottage core hey. channel, this would be hard dress, genuinely. I really love that. Look at this, look at cute little pier. Wow. Oh, and look at that, a little parking station for bikes. And just all this natural... Oh, look at this. Oh, wow, we found the creator. I was just saying, look how gorgeous the beaches are. Oh, hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Wow. I don't know where I want to go first. Oh, I love Maybe the like festival confetti can cannons. Yes, they've hidden them behind there so well. A little cafe on the beach here. I feel like these designs are some of my favourite, you know, the spring core, cottage core, yes. nature core, because you never know what you're going to find. Like, it could be an outright, you know, forest, but with here, there seems to be some type of city elements mixed in with it, like grid panels, um, gas stations, like you were saying. Kind of a bit like a deserted old city. Yeah. Well, especially with that bag, they're almost... Like, it's been hit with some form of an apocalypse, but then people have worked really hard to make it into a nice little area where the world can start. I like it a lot. I like this. Let's just take a second. Look at that Mario shell as well. To appreciate their entrance right now. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get, like... I think if you... Yeah. I'm trying to move away from the airport a little. Oh, yes. Oh. I really love the vibe of that. Because there is just so much here, like you said, there's the Mario shell, there's a street lamp, there's um, like that bag on the floor. There's so much that suggests people were once here, but then it's also quite overgrown, which implies that there no longer are people here. I don't know, it's telling me a bit of a story and I like it. Me too. I'd like to know if there is some type of, you know, lore or mythology behind it, because I think... It isn't like an obvious story that like we've visited islands where we've literally had the creator on a Discord message, you know, tell you know, giving us options, giving us quizzes, and there's people that have told us that there's a story and to check some signs. But here I feel like there's none of that, but there's like an implied story. It's like an island come to life. And I'd be really curious. And here's the thing that I will say, I noticed you like zooming on, on to get like a house. I don't feel like I don't know, it just feels like with this island, you could zoom in anywhere, screenshot anything, yeah. and it's something that's thumbnail worthy. I don't know, I think I took a screenshot because it just seems to fit with the story that I'm painting in my head of this island. Look at this. Oh my goodness. 
Wow. Look at how full these beaches are, but in a really artistic way. It is so amazing. I even want to take a screenshot of this. I just love it all. I, I love this style. It's... Oh. See, I don't want to make it seem like there's a select group of people, but I feel like there's a lot of people that can just do this type of experimentation element very well. Like, oh, here's a statue that we've got from this place. Here's something that we've got from this place that most other people, including, I think, me, would either, you know, sell it or put it in storage and never think about it again. But I think yeah. Lockleaf and creators like Console Kato, Amy Games, just have an amazing way of finding these kind of underrated items and scattering them in a place that look amazing. Like the vending machines, they look nice. I think it would be great in you know for me out of the you know by the airport. But to use it there, yeah, I always find that they yeah. look quite imposing. I would but thought here that that was out of place. So delicately done. But it seemed perfect for her. And the bike as well. I try and confine that to a parking lot like they did initially. But I'd never have thought that it would look nice to put them by a tree. And yet it works. I like it. I like it a lot. 10 out of 10. But of course we have the house. Ooh. And some turkey day items. I'd live here. I would. Aw. I love the turkey day items. Because I feel like my dream with them have come true. When I first saw that they were announced, I said, this is different for me in that they look like they can be used all year round. And I feel that people have done that. See, again, like the fact that they've t taken the time to scatter socks about. I don't think we've ever seen that before. Apart from like on, on a horror island tour when it's implied that there's some yeah. type of event that's happened in like a room it's so true to form like i'm looking at the floor yeah. <laughs> now and both jb and i have just taken our socks off within the last 10 minutes so they're just scattered on the floor like i feel like we can't be the only ones with a floor that looks like this surely like i've never seen that before and yet it, it fits it works it's us oh i i don't know i feel like again the socks that by the wash like by the dryer by the washing machine I like it. Which again, you know, maybe it's getting ready to be washed or it's going to go oh to be dry. Oh my, that annoying time when you're going to put the washing on but you've dropped one pair of socks oh. and the wash is on and you can't put it in so then you've not done all the washing and it's annoying. That upsets me. Sorry, kind of like adult issues. <laughs> I'm getting old. And this is like a cluttered office. I don't know, I'm kind of getting almost like an attic vibe here where you've just thrown all your old stuff. Like there's a stack of books, a couple of boxes... Some old furniture, like the odd chair that was maybe part of a dining set before. See, it's like half utility to me, like with the sewing set, I mm. think. But also kind of half, I don't know, there's a bunk bed there. Maybe this is the house of some parents, potentially, that Kid, their kids went to, to uni, uni or something. Yeah, yeah. And they've, re yeah, I like that. I get, mm. We're on the same page. We're getting a story. See, this island tells a story. I like it. I'm being a bit lazy here, but if Lockliff is watching this, please, please comment down below the like the names of the clothes that you've given me because I would like to source these because I'm actually digging the vibe that JB is giving off. Not only that, but comment the story that I keep picking up on on this island if there is one. I don't want it to be ruined for me though. Like, yeah, if there's for nothing, not I'm to like, be. oh. I guess it doesn't need to ask. It, it's like on a work of art. It's not what it's intended. It's what it evokes within you. Wow. Holy moly. Wow, 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 wow. Whoa. I almost feel like for them, it's part of like a ritual or something, entering the dream suite. Just because you're surrounded by all these celestial items that just seem to give off a bit of a vibe that I really like. Yeah, like floating. Yeah. And there's that music there implies that it's almost, like you say, a ritual or a state of meditation, a peaceful act. Yeah, almost like you're existing in another form right now. Like, I don't know, kind of like you're leaving your body yeah, and floating. I feel like this is like some type of Doctor Strange astral projection type of deal going on. I like that a lot. Me too. Okay, basement time. Oh no, is this mm -hmm. going to be spooky? 
I don't feel like Lotla seems like a spooky person. Oh, how lovely. They've utilised all the wedding day furniture. It looks almost like a posh garden party. See, I was Because of the grass on the that. floor and... Or even like we were watching an episode of British Bake Off and it seems like something that they could yes. do Yes. Okay, I like that. Good reference, JB. Oh, there's a Mario Cloud carpet. <laughs> That's gorgeous. I really do. I really like this. I really, really do. Me too. I wonder how many houses are on this island though. Should I check them up? Because the, when we found the little avatar, they were called Lockleaf 2. Now, I do know that they have another island that's set for another time of year, I believe. So it could just be that they're Lockleaf 1 and there's Lockleaf 2 on this island. But I don't know. Ooh, let's see what's down here. Wow. So, this is back to roughly where we were at the start. So let's head back up here and take another one of the entrances or exits that we have. So, I think we can go this way. Wow. Oh, there's more Mario items. There is. Wow, yeah, there's like a whole Mushroom Kingdom up here. Wow. Incorporated all the festival things. Oh, this is fantastic. Look at this museum. All the imports like, again, here. All like this, all these items. If I was to ever even think about putting all these things together, I would put them down, convince myself it looks bad and get rid of it. But here again, they've managed to find the most unusual items to make, you know, perfect. So again, I'm taking a story away that these have just been delivered to the museum. Blathers yet to put them away, but there's some old armor and all that kind of thing. Yeah, some rockets potentially. Blathers research area. Oh my gosh. So yeah, perhaps I'm reading too much into some of this, but I think it's just what the island kind of evokes. Now let's take a little look at this mushroom forest, JB. I just saw a Mario flag. Oh, I think there's another character there. Is that Lockleaf 2 again? Let's go over and say hi and find out. Let's get them. Let's hope we can fit through here. I don't think you can. Are you still on camera mode? Oh, maybe. Oh, Lockleaf 2 again. <laughs> wow, look at Red's Beach. Oh, we're collecting coins as well. They jump with me, grab You need those with living me. with Tom Nook. Oh, yeah. well, Tom Nook is a notorious crook. Oh, look at the little train here. I like that. And the wind turbines, so aesthetically pleasing. Again, so it reminds nice. me a bit of Studio Ghibli. Was there something up there? Where? Here? Well, you know where you were before, by the wind turbines. I thought that that was leading somewhere, wasn't it? No, no, it just goes to this dead end. Ah. Uh, Sorry. Aww. That's made me sad. Well, there are a few warp pipes around. I don't know what they're about. Let's go and check one out. I think the issue is, is I'm always scared of getting lost on these islands and missing something out that I could show you guys. I think this is the second one I've seen, so it may deposit us, yeah. I think they're just scattered around the outside of the island for, like, I guess, easy access to certain places. Yeah. But again... I do like that quite a bit. So this is the house that we looked around? Oh, and I missed it, but there was a little Rosetti on the crate there. Oh, and here we are back where we were. So, we can go and take a look around. Wow, again, all stunningly natural. Ooh, I wonder what's up here. We've got a little orchard. Oh, I love that. That camping ground looks amazing. I kind of want to take the ladder straight down to there, but I'll make sure we have a chance to observe everything. 
See, this is fantastic as well, like a for-the-purpose observation deck. Yeah, just going out across the train track over there, look. Oh, I really like that, because it implies that this isn't... Like, obviously, this is all the island is, you know, like, the normal di like dimensions of what we get in the game. But it almost implies that if you were living on this island, you could take that tram or that train to somewhere else. Yeah. It certainly, you feel like you could exist here. Now, I think, unless I'm mistaken, we may be able to vault across one of these. So let's take a look. Oh, wow. Oh, there we go. So it's almost like hidden, like secret. Oh, there's a little dog there, a little puppy. This is so, so perfect. Eric. Wow. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. What a creative campsite. I, I need a screenshot of this. This is too good. But again, this is the game's fault. But the more I see people do amazing things with the festival decorations, the more I'm kind of cursing the game for not making those like a learnable DIY. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they've made that decision. More festival but... things. I love the festival items. I don't think they've released items that I haven't liked. Because even like ones that I'd associate with wow. with things I'm not mad about, like Rilla. The Hello Kitty items are some of my favourite. Whoa. Wow, wow, wow. Sorry. This is amazing. That is fantastic. Look at this area. I'd love to just sit here and read. Like, doesn't that just look so peaceful? It really does. I just couldn't imagine, like, creating something like this. Because I tend to have quite big, almost brand related ideas so like a few tours ago I was like oh how cool would it, would it be if we could make a DreamWorks island and that's fantastic because some of the like some of the coolest islands that we've been to have been based on something that we're really passionate about but I feel like that's the extent of what I can think of like I love Marvel I'd do a Marvel island I love Spirited Away I'd want to do a Spirited Away island I can't I, I would never think to make an abstract type island like this like you know, here's some barrels, let's make a nice section with barrel decorations, like... So it's a different style of decorating, and one that I'm not personally very good at, but I love it a lot, and oh my goodness gracious me. This is stunning. And this is a bit like what you did on our island, isn't it? This kind, kind of, of bar area, area with yeah. the festival decorations. Almost some rubbish bins there suggesting that it's in some type of urban area. Look at this, there's just so much that I'm so scared that we've missed something out. I think at this point I'm just going to open the map. Okay, so we found the house. I think we've been around everywhere. I, I believe. I just think there's been so many amazing things. Yeah, and I'm, everything's I'm just love. placed so well. Like, look, okay? A rock garden is an achievement. Six rocks perfectly placed here. But the thing is, is it's that perfect that you actually don't notice that it's a rock garden at first glance. Yeah, because they're just like the ends of the fences there almost. Yeah. Wow. 10 out of 10 island. There's just so much. Look, there's a football thing here. How did we not see this? Oh, I love it. Because I love how there's like, you know, you've got your football pitch, but then there's this huge statue at the back here. There's just so much. I think JB could be here for weeks. Aww. Oh, soccer. Okay, I feel like that is the entire island. Hmm. Me too, but Let's I love it a lot. We'll the check. Because I don't know how much of much will be here, but 
I'm enjoying it. I, I have loved this place. So, let us see. Searching custom designs. Okay, guys. Okay. We have all oh, the flag. And we really did like the flag. We did. That was fantastic. Oh. Ooh. And some There's nice like outfit designs there, too. Some Analia merch. I definitely want to get a heart. Let's, let's download a heart. Look at that. That's we will sweet. definitely be saving that. Because I literally... I've tried to make this a regular thing where every time we kind of encounter a new island that has some type of merch to it, we try and get some. And I think that's what we've done here. And I want to just remember our time in some of these amazing places. So that is amazing. Now, obviously, this has been featured in some of the video before, but I suppose we are going to be revealing the dream address if you want to visit this island yourself. And also, please make sure to check for Lockluff's information in the description down below as that will show you any um any updates to the island that will come indeed so as jb said let's check the dream address i was just modeling the hat there as well for you guys so the dream address for this island is 7349 4321-0552 so guys come and enjoy this island and as jb said share those screenshots Okay, so if you do want to see more things like this, such as Animal Crossing Island tours, speed builds, plus other games such as Pokemon, Super Mario, and so much more, then please like, comment, and subscribe. JB and Millie.